Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I actually wanna answer a question I get more than any other question I get on this channel or any of my other videos. And that question is, why is it when I'm calibrating my home theater and I set my volume knob to zero, I hear no audio from my speakers? But before we get to the answer, if you're new to this channel, my name is Caleb and I do videos on everything under the sun related to home theater. So if you like that type of content, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button, please hit that bell notification, and please share this with all your friends and family members who are into home theater and audio. So let's get to it. So on one of my most popular videos on my channel titled Dolby Atmos Home Theater Reference Level, I take you through the step-by-step -step process of calibrating your home theater to reference level and I show you everything that you need to do. But I guess one step that I didn't go over clear enough was making sure your AVR or your preamp processor is displaying volume correctly so that you can therefore calibrate your speakers to reference level and get the absolute best sound out of your home theater. So that question again was, why is it when I set my receiver or my preamp processor to zero, I hear absolutely nothing when I'm trying to bump up the trim levels? And the reason is, is because your receiver or your processor is displaying the volume in the incorrect setting. So you need your receiver to be displaying the volume in relative volume as opposed to absolute volume. The difference is, is that in absolute volume, you're gonna see a rating from zero to 100, with zero being absolutely no sound whatsoever and 100 being mind-bogglingly just crazy loud. Whereas in relative display, which is what you want, it will display the volume readout from negative infinity or 80 all the way up to plus 18. So that's what you wanna use when you are calibrating your system to reference level. And just as a reminder, a refresher of why we do this. So when movies are mixed and mastered in a studio, the entire studio, whether it's set up for 5.1, 7.1, 11.1, or beyond for Dolby Atmos or DTSX, their system is calibrated so that every single speaker in that entire setup is giving them 75 dB of peak noise when their volume level is set to zero. And so when they go to mix and master the movie, they have their volume set to zero on their system. Granted, it's a mixing console, but it's the same idea. It's going to be set to zero, and everything is guaranteed that every single speaker in that setup is going to give them the exact same volume output, because you don't want one speaker or multiple sets of speakers to be playing louder than the others, because that's going to affect the mix. So that's why it's important that every single home theater system be calibrated so that every single speaker in your system gives you the exact same sound pressure level output, which is usually 99.9% .9 of the time, 75 dB. Now there's some older methods where they maybe may have mixed it to a little bit louder, but in general, most of the industry uses 75 dB. All right, so just in case I didn't explain that well enough, I'm going to say it again, but a little bit more technical, and I am gonna read something verbatim off of an article, so bear with me here because I'm not gonna remember this otherwise, but here it goes. So when you first set up an AV receiver, the signal level of the pink noise test tones used to calibrate the output of your speakers should be 75 dB with C weighting engaged on your SPL meter. That's on a THX certified receiver at least, and presumably with other models. When you use those internally generated test tones, which are intentionally offset by negative 10 decibels to be easier on your ears during the calibration process, the goal is to balance the individual speakers in your system for a 75 dB sound pressure level. Once that's been set, anytime your receiver's volume is adjusted to zero, you will experience soundtracks at reference level volume of 85 dB with the same 105 dB peaks used for mixing movie sound. This allows you to hear a balance and character of the mix as close as possible to what the original filmmaker intended. So there you have it. That is exactly why engineers do what they do and that is why it is recommended that you calibrate your system 
for 75 dB of pink noise out of every single speaker with your volume level set to zero and your receiver or preamp processor set to display the volume in relative terms instead of absolute. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly show you on my receiver how you would go about changing your volume display from absolute to relative. Now off the top of my head I can't remember when you buy a brand new receiver if it shows it in absolute or relative. I want to say it shows it in absolute but I'm going to go into my Marantz and show you and this will apply for any person who has a Marantz or Denon receiver because it's virtually the same uh, menu but in any receiver uh, you'll be able to go into the menu system and have it display volume from absolute and switch it to relative so that you can properly calibrate your system. All right, so you'll hit the setup or menu button on your receiver and then go to audio, go down to volume, and then scale. Now I think when you first get a receiver, most are already set to absolute volume, which is zero to 100, and in this case it's zero to 98. And sometimes the receiver may actually say absolute volume or relative volume. Everyone's menu system is a little bit different. And you'll switch it over from negative 79.5 decibels to plus 18. So just confirm that. Exit. And you're good to go. So when you're ready to calibrate your system, you'll set the volume knob on your receiver to zero. Then you'll go into the test tone levels and you'll use your sound pressure meter to measure every single speaker in your system to 75 dB of pink noise with C weighting and a slow response time and the scale set to 70 to between 70 dB and 100 dB. Every SPL meter is a little different. Hope that helps.